As I mentioned, the auditorium is not included in any of the Walt Disney Concert Hall tours, and photography is highly frowned upon if you're there for a concert, so I had to have an official media escort to get this shot. Frank Gehry designed the look of the space, from the seat upholstery to the wood paneling and the organ's visual design. It's rather startlingly orange and floral for a classical concert space, but Gary's primary goal throughout the building was to make people feel welcome. The ceiling and wall paneling in warm Douglas fir help reflect the sound to the audience. The seating is in a vineyard style, which breaks the audience into terrace sections in order to place even more acoustic surface at the front of each section. It's also a semi-arena design, with seating behind the orchestra, but those seats are not always used. When asked if using specifically Douglas fir for the ceiling and walls was important to the sound, acoustic designer Yasuhisa Toyota said that the exact wood for the walls and ceiling was less important, but for the stage surface, it is critical. The stage floor must work as a part of the instruments, he explained. The cello and double bass, for example, and the piano, touch the floor directly. So the material, the thickness, and the structure below the floor are so important acoustically. The pipe organ at the Disney Concert Hall has 6,125 pipes and occupies a central position between the seating sections at the rear of the stage. Frank Gehry designed the form, but the sound was designed by Los Angeles organ designer Manuel Rosales. It was fabricated in Oingen, Germany by Glotter Getz Orgelbau, GmbH.